Hey Jordan, it's Dr. McGlasson. Just trying to make sure that I give you some feedback on the Country Analyst Goals Assignment. So I'm here inside Canvas taking a look at your China website and um, I took a look at it before I started recording and it looks really good. It's so much better than the first assignment. <laughs> so that's good. The one day extension apparently was helpful. Um, I actually looked it over and with the exception I think of um, two things, one's really minor and then one's um, going to be a really quick change but it's kind of a major concept in the area where it is. I'll get to it in a second but I'm thinking maybe two minutes to make those changes and um, you'll be good. So under China's goals you had all the data up front which is good. I thought the inflation was really good. You gave the whole rundown. You made sure you went and got some extra data to show the trend and show that it seems like it's been stabilized for the last couple of years. Um, Unemployment, I thought, was really good. I thought it was interesting uh, that the most educated people actually have the highest rate of unemployment, which is kind of depressing when you think about it. Um, it was the real GDP and per capita GDP was was the one place where I thought that um, there was a piece of information where omitting it is kind of a glaring error, which is... You're talking about the real GDP in China's per capita GDP and how it's significantly smaller. Um, and it was, uh, you kind of were digging in with stuff that could be true, but seemed to miss the most obvious answer, which is that China's per capita GDP, per capita means per person. When you divide by population, China has the world's largest population. I think they're pushing 1.5 billion people. So they have something like 20% of the world's population in one country. And when you have that many mouths to feed, the money, even if you have a lot of it, isn't going to go as far. So it's much lower because their population is so huge. And um, when you're talking about the fact that, you know, you've seen their overall GDP grow, but the per capita GDP hasn't grown all that much, it's probably because population growth is outstripping the GDP growth, you know, or um, maybe not completely outstripping it, but um, kind of eating away at the GDP growth, the way that inflation would eat away at it. So as the population grows, the GDP has to grow faster than the population to allow that per person income to grow quickly. Um, economic growth, I thought was good. Wait, where? There was one place in here somewhere where you had a word missing. This was the very tiny change that I was thinking. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, here it is under growth. Um, it looked like here in 1992, China's price per capita GDP, which isn't really a phrase. I was wondering maybe if you meant price adjusted per capita GDP, like controlling for the price. So I think maybe the word adjusted should be inserted here, which is like a one second change. So those are really, I mean, the whole thing looked really good. I thought you pulled in really relevant additional data to help build the picture. Um, I think that that tiny, tiny adding the word here and then under um, per capita GDP, if you were to talk more about the fact that China's population is the thing that's eroding the um, per person income because they have so many people, then um, you're in really good shape going into the final project for that peer evaluation. Um, so I think that's it. Uh, if you have questions for me, though, certainly let me know, and I will see you in class next week.